Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is the Tennessee State University football program 2012. And we're fortunate to have with us the head coach of the uh, Tennessee State University football program, uh, Coach Reed, Coach uh, R. Reed. And of course, Coach Reed, let me uh, welcome you to uh, the uh, show this morning and tell you how delighted we are to be with you, uh, Coach Reed. We had you here, I think, when you first became the uh, head football coach yes, at uh, Tennessee State University, and we sort of uh, tried to do so on a number of occasions since then, but uh, we've been unfortunate in, in that we were unable to do so, but we have you here today. And so what we'd like to do uh, today, Coach, is to have you to uh, talk about your background, uh, your education, and some of the things that were important in terms of eventually leading you to uh, Tennessee State University, and then we'll start talking about some of the other things uh, during the uh, second and the uh, third segment of this show. But let's talk about you okay. during this first six minutes. Well, first off, uh, thank you for having me on the show again. Uh, anytime we get an opportunity uh, to come out and share you know, what's going on at Tennessee State with the community, uh, we're, we're more than willing to do that. Um, I'm. Uh, a product of Tennessee State University. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know, my father uh, played here under the legendary John Merritt mm -hmm. at Tennessee State. I'm originally from Marshall, Texas, where mm -hmm. I grew up, born and raised. I graduated from Marshall High School at that point. Mm -hmm. I continued my education at Tennessee State University, mm -hmm. where I played football for four years mm -hmm. and uh, had an opportunity to uh, be named to the Sheridan All American team mm -hmm. my last year at Tennessee State. And it afforded me some other opportunities to get out and coach when I finished playing. Uh, my first coaching job was at Prairie View A&M mm -hmm. University down in Texas. And I went there from Morehouse for a couple of days. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Coach Collins, who was then uh, the offensive coordinator at Bethune-Cookman, brought me down to Bethune-Cookman to coach the linebackers. And from Bethune, I went to Seabreeze High School in Daytona Beach, Florida. And from there, I went back to East Texas to uh, start up a program, East Texas Baptist University. Mm -hmm. And um, I was there for three years, and we built that program from the ground up. Uh, the year that I left, they did make it to win the conference and, mm -hmm. you know, went to the playoffs. And I felt real proud about having a part in building that program. Mm -hmm. And at that time, Tennessee State was struggling a little bit. And mm -hmm. I came in as a defensive coordinator, and we did a really good job that first year of turning what was the worst defense in the conference the year before mm -hmm into the best defense in the Good. conference one year later. And uh, we've really been playing well defensively since then up until last year. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we're doing some things to fix that. But I, was, I came back here in 2003 as a defensive coordinator. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, I was elevated to head coach. Uh, two years ago, and I'll be going into my third season in the Centennial 2012. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, I think you can say that you've had a real experience over the last few years here at uh, Tennessee State University. Oh, absolutely. Seen a lot of positive things going on mm -hmm. here. Um, you know, my, my first year at, in, at the helm, the alumni really responded, uh, doing some things with us, uh, getting some new facilities, mm -hmm. uh, you know, some things I think we'll get to later in the show, mm -hmm. but uh, we've got new locker rooms, we've got a new indoor facility. Uh, Dr. Shields has come in and really uh, hit the ground running in, in, in her charge to get us back playing in the hole, mm -hmm. and I think that's going to come to pass next year. I think we have a couple of games scheduled to play down there, mm -hmm. which is really exciting for our alumni, mm -hmm. and exciting for me as a former player mm -hmm. and someone who played down You've in the home there. and knows mm -hmm. how special that mm -hmm. is and the feeling that you get from playing on campus mm -hmm. and the tradition that's down there in that home. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and so in a real sense, uh, this year really represents a good year for you. you. You're looking for good, positive things coming out of this year. Oh, right? absolutely. You know, my first year at the helm, uh, two years ago, we, we, we didn't win a conference game. We were 0-8 in the conference. Mm -hmm. We won three football games overall. Last year, going into the last game of the season, we had an opportunity mm -hmm. to uh, get a share of the conference championship. So mm -hmm. we look forward to moving forward at, uh, next year. Okay, very good. And, of course, uh, we're getting ready uh, in a minute or so for the uh, first commercial break. But that's essentially what we want to try to do, Coach, is to uh, get uh, as much information from you as we possibly can, and not only in reference to the uh, football team itself, mm -hmm. but in reference to the, the alumni and other folks who you look up on as part of uh, your support right. uh, for this. What, uh, over the last half minute that we have, what have you found in, in one word uh, the, the, the reaction to uh, your alumni so far? Well, you know, our alumni wants winners at Tennessee State. Make mm -hmm. no mistake about it, and mm -hmm. I know that, but uh, the, the 
the support has been great, mm -hmm. and we look forward to continued support. Uh, they provided that locker room that we mm -hmm. have, and uh, there are pictures in the Tennessee and uh, last week about that, and we're really excited about our mm -hmm. alumni. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I think that we've got uh, that picture uh, somewhere, and that we're going to show that uh, soon. And okay. uh, but but at the same time, that that's a newspaper picture, is that right? Which is to say that many people who might not be able to read the information on there can find that in the, in the probably on the internet and the newspaper. In the Tennessee and, the and Tennessee. on our web page uh, at TennesseeStateTigers.com. Uh, very good. And so that's a very, very positive picture. And of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break.